welcome back to Carolina Connection, coming to you from the UNC Botanical Garden. Over the last four decades, the Botanical Garden has evolved into a special place that we see here today. It features 10 acres of outdoor gardens, a 4,500 square foot greenhouse with attached workspace, a classroom, and a botanical and horticultural library with more than 1,200 books. Our next story is about a good Samaritan who took the concept of providing shoes to those in need to another level. Shoes, tennis, sneakers, slippers, boots. We use them to run, walk, and work. Most think more about the brands than their purpose, and even more take for granted how not having them can impact our livelihoods. In steps Jeremy Coffey and the charitable organization Good Souls. I just happened to pull up at this stoplight and notice that the um, the man in the middle of the road had a really bad, um, really just a terrible pair of shoes. And so I reached in the back and I pulled out my basketball shoes um, and just uh, rolled down my window and was like, hey, my name's Jeremy. Um, I have these size 12s, they're yours if you want them. Essentially uh, how Good Souls kind of started. Good Souls helps people step out of bad situations by providing work shoes to those in need. Getting to know Jeremy, he's a great human being. I think what he's doing is, is a need that I don't think a lot of people recognize. People give clothes, you know, toys. Lots, there's lots of other charitable opportunities, but I haven't seen any other organizations that focus on just boots. And it's a huge, huge need. We needed um, steel-toed boots. And I asked uh, my running instructor if they would uh, help out with that. And uh, he contacted Jeremy. You know, Running Works and Good Souls is a natural partnership. Uh, their goal is to get people off the street, out of the situation, and into good paying jobs uh, through the work boots that they provide. And our whole mission is to help those who need jobs and, and need physical fitness and need housing to connect them to different resources. And Good Souls is one of our main partners in that. Good Souls has organized several events where participants lunge, walk, and exercise. At the end of the events, the shoe boxers are signed with encouraging words from the participants. Thankful I was for the whole process and just thinking about the whole process and looking at what's on the box yep. and thinking about the name Good Souls and how it comes from the Good Souls right. of people with Good Souls. Yeah. And, and that was just, you know, it's, it's a humbling experience and it just makes me feel so good sometimes how uh, you got these people that, you know, we don't know. And uh, I think I can speak for the rest of my cohorts in saying that uh, it's well appreciated. And uh, we all looking forward to the opportunity to move forward in our lives. Most recently, the Charlotte Rescue Mission finished a class to help students find work. At the end of the class, Good Souls provided each student with shoes to work in the new cafe at the Charlotte Rescue Mission, which just had its grand opening on the 7th of April, 2019. There is no, there is no roadblock anymore, there is no quit. You need a job that requires steel-toed boots, I got your boots. They're not just shoes, they're, they're opportunities, they're um, answers to prayers, their, their hope. Can't go progress through this life on our own. We need help from people. Uh, no matter if you're at the top, in the middle, at the bottom, it doesn't matter. Um, not a single person has ever, that has ever walked this earth has ever done anything on their own. We need people. We need people to help us, to care about us, to love us. Um, and that is uh, part of Good Soul's mission with these boots is, is to help. For Carolina Connection, I'm Tracy Stinson. Such a heartwarming story centered around something as simple as a good pair of shoes. To learn more about this organization, visit goodsouls.org. After the break, we'll take to the skies and see how one local organization is reaching out to some of the most remote places on earth.